tourniquet. How they'll come to you is packaged essentially like this. You have to unwrap it. The way that these work is to, ideally they can be done one-handed, but when you're using them on another person, you want to use both arms. Hey, okay, there's too many of you in here. There's four of you over here. Yeah. Or, they're going to come hang out with us eventually. So when you're putting this on, so the way that you're going to approach the patient is you want to get the limb open to you. You're going to wrap this around. Now it's got a buckle and a Velcro system that you're going to cinch it through. And you're going to go about two to three centimeters above the wound. The first step that you really want to get right is to cinch it down as hard as you can to help overall stop the bleeding. Velcro it. You don't want to be able to get a finger under there. Bleeding will still be going on, so the way to stop that is to then cinch down the tourniquet itself. Now when you're twisting this, two to three turns usually is where you're going to go at. Um, but you're going to be watching to see if you can get the bleeding to stop. So once we have the blood flow controlled, this will then pop underneath the here. You can then secure down the Velcro overlying and then the time stamp here to put as to when the actual tourniquet went up. Check distally to make sure you have no more bleeding and then the patient's ready to be transported. Great, and then remember also, um, for a really big wound, let's say, uh, like a thigh, you might need two of these. Um, and how long do they stay on? How many hours? Always guess the range. Four. Two, to four. two to four, six, some say two. We've been trained, te uh, teaching four to six. It's really important to put the time on there uh, so they know, you know, the providers know when it went on. Uh, also, these are really painful when they go on, so that's another way to know if you're doing it correctly. It's going to hurt. So. All right, so let's divide up.